we show you how to uh, come from the uh, Sparks uh, Archimate Tutorials uh, 01 organization to make that uh, pattern and to show you three levels a hierarchy of one uh, the organization, uh, the layered chart. Uh, as mentioned, is uh, every uh, there is a wave point. Uh, I will try to find some generic uh, example, uh, like this one here. Is uh, uh, put that in the uh, the following uh, video. So every uh, the wave point, you have one pattern, one sample. So that is the uh, the structure I want to put here. So uh, that uh, is also uh, the following the videos will like this uh, structure. So like it's uh, zero one, you will see this uh, uh, pattern coming from this uh, Spark systems, uh, uh, this uh, Archimate tutorial directly. Uh, and uh, uh, that's uh, number two uh, will be our example. So this example may not be so uh, direct on this uh, wave point, but I try to find some uh, the closer, as closer as possible. Uh, so within this example, uh, you may see is we have a top, uh, it's called a functional organization. We have a top uh, president, uh, and then we have the R&D manager. So you can see here, all of them are uh, not only for a name of the company or organization or business unit. Uh, you can use the business actor to represent such kind of the individual name. So uh, no, normally is uh, when you build our uh, enterprise architecture uh, to distinguish the class, uh, the individual relations, you may have a group, uh, the element, or you uh, have this uh, individual element. So president uh, can be our individual actor, uh, and all you can see is a board of directors is as a uh, uh, the group, uh, the ac uh, actors, and they can have these, uh, uh, those uh, pr pr uh, president or CEO or CFO, so that is can be sitting in a board. Uh, and, and then the R&D can be our business unit or the department, uh, but here is uh, we want to show is the R&D manager report to the president. So we start is uh, we will have uh, the relationship to build them. So uh, it's not like uh, the last one, just uh, one uh, the uh, level one, including three level two, and uh, uh, one level two include four level three. So uh, so that is the uh, you may just try to see the uh, the difference a way to represent organization. So uh, let's do uh, our work and before we do the uh, new model uh, I just wanted to show you is uh, on the git harvest uh, after every uh, the these uh, videos, uh, you may starting to see some uh, contents uh, started to add into the uh, this uh, uh, repository. So, uh, so from here, you, know, you can see the uh, level uh, this. Uh, uh, one the basic wave point uh, include this uh, zero one organization uh, is already have uh, one Archimate uh, extension file that is this file so you can see this uh, with our dot Archimate extension uh, and also has our uh, the image file which is this one I export to our uh, the image so uh, before you open uh, download this Archimate file using the your archi tool uh, you can preview this uh, model so the, that uh, this view so so that you know the which uh, uh, the these uh, models uh, you may uh, ref use that as uh, either pattern or sample so I will create our uh, new model so if you click a new model actually within our case uh, they can show the multiple model at the same time so that is also our one convenient way so you can copy paste uh, certain element uh, between different models uh, that, that is one convenient, but everything has uh, pros and cons. Is, uh, I have uh, uh, discussed this uh, uh, within that uh, Archimate uh, cookbook courses. Uh, you need to carefully to distinguish the different way of the copy paste uh, and also copy paste the special. And then the different ways, uh, if you copy paste, copy paste the special within one same model, all 
across the two different models. So that four situations uh, uh, may have the different uh, uh, implication or results. So try to uh, familiar with uh, all of those and uh, choose uh, one of the uh, the best things to save your time. So that is the uh, whole purpose if you want to do that. But if you don't feel comfortable uh, for that, is uh, my suggestion is when you are working on, on a new model, close your old model so that is uh, ensure is uh, you are not uh, the the uh, just in case is uh, uh, do something in the wrong model so first is uh, let me call that organization and uh, example so uh, and I also have our default view so I uh, rename this view uh, and here is uh, one thing I can copy. So is uh, I open this one. So uh, that is uh, uh, the key thing is uh, w you can see these wheels are just a seat side by side. Uh, but you need to be uh, uh, sure is uh, which model you are opening. So uh, like this one. If it's a highlight, you know it's uh, working on this uh, pattern model, and this view is uh, just uh, created. Is you you are working on this uh, uh, the example model. You can read from this uh, top uh, the head bar, but uh, or tab names. Uh, but uh, believe me, is uh, if you open the more than twenty views altogether, this bar is uh, getting very uh, small. So uh, it's not easy to do for for you to uh, distinguish simply from here. Uh, so the safer way is uh, uh, try not to open too many different models uh, and only focus on the uh, active model you are working. But why I keep that is uh, actually I want to have some convenience. I copy this uh, label back to my new model and paste on this label. So this label, when I paste that, actually is uh, coming together with uh, this uh, label expression. So dollar view, uh, the calibrisis name, calibrisis closing. So that is the uh, way is I, I just wanted to get our title. Then right click this uh, model, close that. So now you are very safe is uh, everything you do is uh, on this uh, uh, the new model. So uh, let me also Paste this. Uh, and then the, uh, instead of this, uh, we work on this one. So uh, let me open this uh, sample image. Uh, so we will use that as our uh, base. So functional uh, the organization. So let's uh, also put this uh, as the name. So I see. So functional organization. So when you change your view's name, you may see here your uh, this uh, label is uh, uh, get uh, updated because uh, you can treat this label now like uh, uh, the variable container. So uh, now all of them is uh, we are using uh, the business actor. So you can see president, and then I will copy all of them. So. So first is uh, R&D manager. So second is uh, finance manager. Uh, so depending on is uh, what you are going to represent, you can represent those as the uh, those manager individuals uh, title, or you can see is uh, R&D department, finance department. Uh, so that. Uh, is uh, uh, totally is uh, depending on who you are going to show uh, on this uh, on the organization. So I just uh, put this uh, as same as uh, our sample. So you know product Z. So and then the most important is uh, let's drag from here R and D manager to president and using this uh, magic uh, the link is uh, you can see here. Uh, so we have a uh, certain uh, uh, those uh, relationship. So uh, you may see if uh, search is uh, some kind of the uh, the uh, proper relation. So uh, 
the width, uh, the the most weak uh, relation is this associate two. So from top to bottom is uh, the top is the most strong, so strongest compose. Uh, so actually, is uh, for this organization, uh, we have used this uh, top higher level uh, the department, including the lower level department. That is uh, quite good. Uh, this uh, uh, compose too. Uh, but if you come to this uh, individual person, so compose maybe not are uh, the suitable one. So you can use uh, any of them. So but I try to choose this uh, serving. So which means is uh, uh, they have a reporting relationship. So I. Uh, uh, translate that reporting as the serving relationship. Uh, then this, uh, I keep using this relation, so I will have uh, this uh, serving to this uh, another three division managers. Uh, then I press uh, shift and click the serving. Then you lock this uh, serving, then you can now do this, uh, no need to choose uh, this uh, serving again. So uh, that is the uh, this uh, serving and then the uh, the lower is the function so it's uh, like it's the design uh, putting this uh, design and then let me put uh, here so that is the uh, here is the second one is the development and the testing You can starting to uh, make your this uh, drawing so like uh, here, uh, and then I copy this uh, to here. You you can put those uh, uh, like the same way, and uh, we link our diagram put in here. So like is the uh, R&D manager uh, is also uh, the uh, you can see this uh, design. Uh, is assigned to the R&D manager. So that is uh, also, but we don't have this uh, assigned. Uh, so trigger is not good, it's uh, specialized. So I just uh, used the associate. So associate is the enough. So I put uh, all of them. So you can see here, so I drag uh, them. Uh, but since it's uh, coming from the vert uh, vertical directly, so they are not come to the left, uh, they uh, uh, turning the link. So you have uh, two choices. Uh, one is uh, uh, you manually go to this, uh, uh, the link, or you put those uh, include. So that is what we uh, did in the uh, last uh, video is uh, uh, we, we have uh, those uh, inclusive uh, uh, the relations. So uh, then that is the nested. That is uh, also a way, but to, uh, if we just wanted to show this way, so let me uh, demo to you uh, after typing this uh, under uh, finance, uh, normally uh, the accounting is uh, finance. Uh, purchasing is a uh, question. So some uh, some department is uh, sourcing and the purchasing is uh, uh, maybe they are quite uh, uh, the separate. And then sales, oh, well, we don't have uh, the difference. So marketing manager, so maybe it's, uh, I add another is uh, if you have sales, you must have a marketing and communication. Uh, the function, then is, uh, we have the post sales uh, customer service function, then line supervisors and the production team. So here, so those are the team name and the distribution. So you have those now. So uh, uh, to make this uh, diagram is uh, looks better, so now you can starting to drag like this way, and then the select uh, link, then drag. But unfortunately, is uh, if you don't uh, have a certain the uh, using the script, maybe script is uh, also not convenient to do uh, this way. Uh, you have to uh, drag and drop uh, this uh, carefully for. Uh, this uh, link, uh, but since it's, uh, I don't want to, uh, we will change this uh, too much uh, or very frequently, so then uh, you can 
uh, just like me is uh, to use the mouse so you can see here select that drag this uh, middle dot uh, and uh, that will be your uh, the preferences uh, uh, try to make them is uh, as similar uh, this uh, height and a similar uh, the position so and then this one like here here last is this one and also let's uh, manage this one so this you can see you you can make them uh, like here i just put all in the middle and then i can drag this a uh, second box go to my middle so that is one so i drag first come to middle and drag a second come to my so this one is the first then the second so it's uh, two steps uh, to define your your uh, your this uh, diagram last this one and then from here yeah so uh, we start is uh, uh, the hundred percent uh, same as uh, this uh, functional uh, the organization so I will uh, leave this as our uh, example so another way is uh, sometimes is uh, you can expand this uh, uh, the president uh, to a uh, very wide way then this uh, all these uh, lower level department managers will just have uh, automatically a vertical link to this uh, uh, president so that is the two way uh, you may uh, think is uh, but since here is a mentioned actor so I want this uh, all these actors uh, can be in this uh, same uh, the size so we start is uh, we finish this uh, uh, example uh, the uh, this uh, demo uh, and I I will also uh, do the like this one so export and let me export this as our let's see choose the correct uh, folder now it's named as the example functional uh, organization uh, and I also save my model so uh, now you have uh, the uh, the example zero one organization example actually is uh, I'm trying to uh, the push that to the github so let me back to my zero one so you have the another tool so if I look at uh, full file so you have two Archimate file uh, one is just uh, this uh, zero one uh, the organization in the later is uh, I will also uh, re uh, uh, I will re re rename that as the pattern and you have an example or model and both have this uh, exported uh, image so uh, every folder you may have uh, two uh, the uh, two sides of the uh, this uh, modeling uh, result or artifacts uh, so with that we finish this uh, zero one organization so next uh, uh, so I suggest you can read some discussion because that gave you some insights uh, but I don't want to repeat this uh, one uh, you got the link to this uh, uh, tutorial so try to read that uh, next video we go to business process cooperation uh, viewpoint so see you in the next chapter bye for now